focus on your breath. And as for any thoughts that come through, just let them pass. Think of them as people in another corner of the room having a conversation. You don't have to get involved in their conversation. You've got your work to do right here, which is to make your mind solid so it can hold on to its object. Because only when we have something to hold on to that's good can we let go of things that are not so good. The nature of the mind is it always wants to hold on. From the moment we were born, we've had to depend on parents, friends. After a while, we begin to depend on the body. We depend on situations outside being a certain way. The problem is that parents change, friends change, our body changes, situations change. So we need to find something deeper inside. We have to teach the mind how to, how to stand on its own two feet to be independent to have something solid inside that it can depend on, that it can hold on to. So we start with the breath, create a state of concentration. I was reading last night a, one of these modern mindfulness manuals saying that the bliss of meditation comes in that moment when you let go of your object and the mind kind of drifts for a bit. And the thoughts start up, well, you just go back to your object and then let it drift. You don't let the mind drift. Let the thoughts drift, but don't, you don't drift. You stay solidly right here. John Lee's image is of a post at the edge of the water. The tide rises, but the post doesn't rise. The tide goes down. The post doesn't go down. The post is firmly planted right there. That's the quality of mind that you want. The Buddha's image is of a stone pillar, sixteen spans long, eight spans buried in the ground. And no matter what direction the wind blows from, the pillar doesn't shake because it's so firmly planted. In other words, good fortune comes, bad fortune comes, status comes, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasures and pains. Let them be the winds that don't shake you. You've got something solid right here. To go back to John Lee's image, if the post isn't firmly planted, then it becomes a post that's just lying in the water. When the water goes up, the post comes up, and the water goes out, the post goes out. And if there's a big storm, then who knows? The post can come up and get smashed. We're going to hurt people. The safest post is, both for you and for the people around you, is that your post is firmly planted right here. So do everything you can to remind yourself of the importance of staying with the breath. You realize that the ways of the world outside, they come and they go. But the quality of your mind is something you want to have firm, solid. That doesn't get pushed around by these things. That's when you're really safe. And the people around you, as I say, are safe as well. <laughs>